selecting and playing sounds. The sounds of the cross are referred to as programs. Go to Program Mode. They can be played individually here in Program Mode, combined together in Combination Mode, or used on separate tracks in Sequencer Mode. This category dial selects a sound category, and a list of sounds in that category will appear on the display. Use the value dial or the cursor up-down buttons to select the sound. From this selection screen, the cursor left and right buttons jump to the next or previous category. You can play the program from this screen, but pressing the Enter button or the Menu button below OK will bring it to the main page. These two wheels and two switches are set up to control the sound with the pitch wheel adjusting the pitch, and the modulation wheel usually deepening the vibrato, or sometimes controlling the filter. Switches 1 and 2 are set up to modify the sound and may be different from program to program. In this example, switch 1 is changing the envelope, and switch 2 is increasing the chorus effect. For now, turn them both off. This section allows real-time control of the sound using the switch and knob 1 and 2 to change settings. This select button chooses the function. Set it to Tone 1. As shown here, the switch selects different velocity settings. Knob 1 controls the frequency cutoff. And Knob 2 the resonance. Tone 2, Octave, Attack Time, and Release Time. We'll look at these other functions later on in this video manual. A program is made up of many parameters that together create the final program. Every parameter of a program can be individually edited by pressing Menu, Navigating to a page, then adjusting the values in the usual way. Press Exit. Once you select another program or turn off the cross, the change you made will be lost. If you want to save your sound to internal memory, access the Write command by pressing the Function button. Select OK. Now your edited program can be saved over the current location or to one of the user locations so none of the original programs will be erased. Remember that all the factory data can be reloaded into memory using a command in global media mode, so you'll never lose anything. We'll look at loading back in factory data in the global media chapter. You can rename your new program by cursoring up to the T and pressing Enter. Select the letter or character you want using the dial and cursor buttons. Press Enter to confirm the selection. Below the display, these buttons access Shift to insert, delete, or add a space, move to the next or previous position, and access OK to confirm the naming. We won't save the program this time. Press Exit to leave the naming page, then Exit again to return to the main program page.